This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer Aspire 5253 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Aspire 5253 laptop computer. Before we do anything, we want to make the laptop safe to work on, so we need to remove the battery. To do that, you flip the laptop over, and there's two levers so you got to flip or switch. One is here to unlock the computer where you see the red sign is unlocked, and then the second one here, you slide it to your left and lift up the battery like this and remove the battery. Okay, the laptop is safe to work on. Now, just like with most laptops, in order to get to the screen, you need to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you need to remove two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind some plastic covers. So before we get started, let's go over the tools we're going to need. We're going to need a uh, exacto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed blade to remove the plastic screw covers, a pair of tweezers to remove any screws that are stuck, and also a PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for the size of the screwdriver. And also just in case a smaller PH zero screwdriver or you can use a PH zero zero screwdriver just in case. Alright so let's get started. I'm going to use our exacto knife to remove the plastic covers and I like to put the plastic covers right next to the screw opening so that I don't lose them. After we do that we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws at the bottom. One and two. For each set of screws, I like to keep a separate pile so when you're putting the laptop back together, you know which screws go where, and I like to keep the piles in the order in which I remove them. Okay, once the screws are removed, you can you can start snapping off the screen bezel. This is probably the hardest part. It might take you a while. So what I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting the screen bezel up and listen for the snapping sounds. That means the bezel is snapping off. If you get stuck at a certain point, if it doesn't want to come off at a certain point, you go to a different place and keep moving along. And the places you get stuck on usually come back. Sometimes it gets stuck in the corners, so I'll come back to those. Do the same thing on the bottom. Snap it off. And sometimes it works on the corners if, if you pull out a little bit and snap it off from the outside. This one is a little bit more stubborn than usual but that's okay. We can still do it. So what I did in this case is I took my thumb and kind of lifted it up the corner and that seemed to work. So we keep moving along. I did the same thing on this corner. And now we just have the bottom to snap off. We just keep moving along and working it until it comes off and it comes off. Alright, we put the bezel to the side. And for this type of screen, it's mounted on the sides with screws on the sides on a two metal mounting brackets, and we have to access those screws on the sides. For most laptops, it's pretty difficult, or kind of difficult, because you have to tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly. But in this laptop, it's pretty easy. There's three screws on the side, and all are accessible from the side without doing anything else. So we remove the three screws from each side. One. Two. And three. We use our PH1 screwdriver again for main screwdriver for this job. Three. 
When you do this, make sure you have the screen tilted backward a little bit because once you remove the last screw, you don't want the screen to fall forward on you and perhaps damage some stuff. Okay, I lost that screw, it fell down, but I'll retrieve it later. Two. And and three. So this one, I'm going to use my tweezers to help me remove it. Okay. Now the screen is loose from the screen assembly, so we gently start tilting it forward. And as soon as we do that, we see that the webcam cable is has adhesive to the back of the screen. So we need to either remove the webcam cable from the connector or loosen the adhesive. What I did was I undid the adhesive and it came off like that. So now we have more room to tilt the screen forward and we gently lay it down. Okay, this is a LED screen, so it only has one connector, which we need to remove. And the first thing we do, there's some adhesive tape on the top, which you lift up with the fingernail and kind of lift it up, but be careful not to damage the connector when you do that. So kind of gently lift it up to reach the connector. And do the same thing on the other side. Gently lift it up. And you lift it up until all sides of the connection are free and almost there. This one's a little bit more stubborn than most. And sometimes the video cable it has adhesive on the back that's attached to the screen itself. So you gently lift that up. Once you lift up all the adhesive, you slide the connector out and it should come right out. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to put it back in because this is the place where people have the most trouble with. You slide it back in and when it's properly inserted, you will feel not here two clicks that shows it's properly engaged. And let's also do a close-up. This is what a pro proper connection is supposed to look like. There's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection and pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like that when you reconnect it. Okay, so next let's take a look at the screen. This is a pretty common screen, 15.6 inch LED screen. As of late 2011, this is the most popular screen for laptop computers. So let's look at the part number for the screen. The part number you need to look at is B156XW02. B156XW02. So this is the part that you do your search on. Now at Screen Surgeons, we also sell this screen for this laptop computer. And what you get with us is free email technical support when you order this screen. And also we have a compatibility guarantee. If the screen is not compatible, we'll send you a replacement. And also we ship these screens all over the world. So we go to most countries, so no matter where you are, you can order from us. And finally, we have this toolkit for sale that's specifically designed to replace screens on the laptop computer. So you can order that on the website from us as well when you order the screen. To order the screen from us, go to screensurgeons.com. On the bottom, click Buy the Screen. And then on the new page, there will be a form, short form for you to fill out with your email address and your laptop model, and we'll respond with a link to the right screen to buy it online. Okay, once you do have your new screen in, connect it as I showed you, mount it back in the screen assembly, put the three screws in, snap the bezel back on and put the two screws in outside and you should be ready to go. So all in all this is a fairly simple procedure for this laptop computer. So you should not have any trouble. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panritkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc 
And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much. And